Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So you know how much I love unique, original wallets here on this channel, and I think I found a pretty good one. This is the Patina wallet. Let's check it out. Now I have both versions of the Patina wallet here, and this is the brass version, as you can see right here. And inside of this cardboard packaging is the titanium version. And I just wanted to show you this packaging here is just as original and unique as the wallets itself. And you can see everything that it says right here on the back. On the top here, you can sort of see it is the titanium version with a fingerprint saying push. So if I push that up here and remove the cardboard here, we can get our first look at the titanium patina wallet. I'm gonna give you guys a nice close up of both of these patina wallets, titanium and brass. And while you guys are checking these out, let's talk about some of the features. So the patina wallet is a metal wallet designed and handcrafted in Switzerland and is bent from a single sheet of brass or titanium to form a wallet that can hold 10 cards or six bills. And based on the materials they use, I'm guessing now you start to see why they call this the patina wallet. So what about the dimensions here? The patina wallet comes in at 2.54 inches by 3.38 inches. And according to my weight test, the brass comes in at 3.1 ounces, that's 86 grams. And the titanium version comes in at 1.7 ounces, that's 48 grams. So before I get started here, I just wanted to let you guys know that this is a current Kickstarter going on right now. Well, at least at the time of making this video. So I'll put the links to the Kickstarter and or the website below in my description box. And it's definitely interesting. They go over the process of how they actually fold a sheet of metal, a single sheet of metal to form this wallet here. And other really cool stuff on how they concentrate on using recyclable materials such as their packaging here, 100% cardboard. So after you watch this video, definitely check them out. I'll have all the links down below. And I pulled out all the materials that were inside of the titanium wallet here. It says Patina, Swiss handmade wallet designed by and sorry, but I cannot pronounce that. And then on the back here, it has their website. And then this right here is a fold out and it basically shows you all the instructions on how to use this wallet. But I'm gonna be going over that very shortly. All right, so now let's take a closer look at the Patina wallet so we can determine if these are the right wallets for you. Now, like I already said, you guys know I love original and unique wallets on this channel. And I don't think you can get more original or unique than this Patina wallet here. This is a single sheet of metal that is folded. I believe it's an 18 step process according to their Kickstarter right here. And it's folded to form a wallet. Now check this out, it's folded in a way where it spirals around right here and then it stops right here and then comes back around to form the first spring. And then that first spring is angled in a way where it creates a second spring right here. Now, when I first pulled this out of the packaging, I honestly had no idea how to use it. Then of course I had to check out the manual right here and actually it's pretty simple. And once I get to the functionality and start stuffing some cards and some bills in here, I'll show you guys exactly what worked for me. And you guys know I'm also a fan of very minimal branding and the only branding on this wallet is on the spring right here that says Patina Swiss Handmade. And I know they also offer engraving. I didn't get engraving on this, but if you did get engraving, it would be right above this little cutout right here. Now Patina did send these over to me to review and to make you guys aware of their new Kickstarter campaign. So these are pre-production models. And because of that, they mentioned to me that this cutout right here is fairly sharp. I checked it out. It's not sharp enough to cut your finger, but they did say this is gonna be fixed on their production run. So if your wallet looks a little bit different than the one in this video, that's the reason why I'm guessing it might look a little bit more like this. This end piece right here isn't sharp at all. So it might have this little pattern right here. That's the process of them making this less sharp. I'm not sure, but that's just my guess. Also, I've been carrying this for the past week and I've been carrying this brass version right here. And you can probably tell because I already have a scratch in it. Now scratches are fairly common if you're familiar with carrying metal wallets. I definitely am. Now I did this the other day because I had a pocket knife in my pocket and I was reaching in and pulling out the wallet and it scratched it. It's no big deal. It's actually not even a scratch. It's just a mark 
but you can definitely see it right there. So I just wanted to remind you guys, if you carry metal wallets in your pocket, don't carry it with keys or coins or knives in the same pocket. That could happen. All right, so now let's start talking about the functionality of this Patina wallet. So they said it can hold up to 10 credit cards and up to six bills. So the way this wallet is folded and designed is pretty ingenious in my opinion. So this little part right here, this little curl, is where you store all of your credit cards. So here are 10 of my demo cards. I have seven flat and three embossed. And the easiest way to do this is to take all your cards and stick it into the curl right there first and push them straight in and then you can see exactly how that spring works right there. And in my opinion, this works flawlessly. I've had no issues getting cards in and out of this wallet at all. In fact, I was very surprised at the functionality of this wallet. So right now I have the maximum 10 cards in there. I was only carrying six cards in here. And in my opinion, that was almost a perfect amount of cards. But you can see it still takes those 10 cards like a champ. And to get your cards out, there's this pretty large cutout right here that acts as a thumb slot. And all you have to do is just swipe through and pick whatever card you want out right here and slap the cards back in. But of course, you're gonna put your most used credit card right here on the top and that is extremely simple. Now, I'm not gonna lie and tell you that you're gonna pick this up right away because honestly, it's gonna take a little bit of practice getting used to this wallet. Now, that's just me. You guys might pick this up right away and say, what the heck was he talking about? This is extremely easy to use, which I agree with you once you get used to it. Now, I'm gonna show you my technique and what I was doing at first. So, what I was doing at first is when I took a card out, I tried to put it back in and precisely hit that little area right there by the curl. And I was like, well, this isn't convenient at all. Don't do it that way. It's much easier if you have a card out like this and then just slide up the next card as so and use that as a stopper and push it right in. It's so much easier. In fact, that became second nature carrying this for the last week. I just got so used to pushing the cards back in, pushing that next card up, and then using that to slide the card right back in the wallet. Now, I'm a big fan of using the fan method, and you can't do that here. You basically have to swipe through your cards using this cutout here as an ID window. And after a while, it kind of made me wish that there was a tiny little cutout here on the bottom so I can push all the cards up and then just grab them all as so and fan out the cards and use the fan method. So that's one thing maybe they can look at in the future is give us a little thumb cutout right here on the bottom. But that's not a big deal. It's not a deal breaker at all because swiping through your cards right here works just fine. And now let's start talking about how you carry your bills. So once again, when I first started using this wallet, I just couldn't figure out how to properly get the bills in here because it requires you to do something that you're not really used to and that's stuffing the bills into a tiny little crack right there. But just like the functionality of the cards, once I got used to it, it became second nature and I started to enjoy it actually, just because of how unique it is. And I'm gonna show you guys what I'm talking about with just one bill right here at first. So I'll show you the problem that I was having and the wrong way to do this is I was pushing down like this with my thumb and trying to stuff the bills in that way. And then I always came to a stop right here. So then I realized because I'm pushing down, I'm causing a natural stopping point right here where the bill isn't able to travel through. And you can see that right there as I'm pushing down and trying to push the bill in, it's just creating a stopping point right there. So this is what I did and this seemed to be the easiest way to get bills in here. I just turn the wallet horizontal like this and use both of my thumbs and gently push down and almost rolled it like a cigarette. And you saw how easy that was just using the horizontal method. All you have to do is just gently push that bill in. Super simple. Another thing I suggest is always put the bill in end first, because if you put it in fold first, this is what happens when you start taking this in and out of your pocket all the time. The ends start to bend up and curl, and I just hate when that happens. So if you put it in end first like this, always have the fold at the end like that. It looks a lot cleaner in my opinion. And now let's try six bills all together like this. I'm just gonna put one fold. Let's put those in end first here. So push down slightly and start to push with both thumbs. Now this way, it's so thick, 
I can't push in any more from this point. That's because I'm using the maximum amount of bills so it's a little bit thicker. Not to worry because I just used the wiggle method. Yes, I'm just making up terms here. And if you wiggle it in, you can see still goes in just fine. So in my experience, one to three bills, you can just roll it in normal, but four, five, or six bills, you have to roll it in and then it stops at a certain point and just wiggle it in. Just because of how thick the bills get and how much room you have right there for the bills to travel. But I noticed in the manual here, they want you to fold each individual bill like this, just so you don't have to take out the whole stack when you want to take out just one bill. So I'm going to try that right now. And I haven't tried this yet. So you can see I have them folded individually. So this is going to make it a little bit different from what I just showed you. So let me see if I can still roll it in and okay. Yep. Rolls in, wiggle it just a little bit. <laughs> All right, so there you go. And I guess this way you can take out each individual bill without having to take out the whole stack of bills. But I'm not really sure if I'm a fan of this right here. Yeah, that technique, I guess it works fine, but that's definitely not for me. I'm gonna keep all my bills in a stack as so, fold them over just once, and then put them back in just like this. It was working pretty well for me, but at least my way I can pull these out halfway and roll out the top bill and slide it out like this and push the rest back in. Now the next thing I want to make you aware of based on my experience is you might think you can push these bills all the way in to hide them a little bit better, which technically you can. But then if you flip it to the other side, you can start to see what happens. Those bills start to peek out in the cutout here. And that's just based on the design here. Those bills, they're wrapping all the way around and they're starting to peek out right here. So if I start to pull the bills back, just so you can't see them to about right there, that's about the minimum amount of bills that you're gonna have showing right there. And I'm gonna show you guys one negative that I've discovered while I've had these bills sitting in this wallet for a few days is just because of the design of the wallet curling the bills when you take your bills out, this happens. Now, once again, this isn't the biggest deal in the world. I'm just nitpicking, but I feel like I have to make you guys aware. But like I said, that's a really small deal. Didn't really bug me too much, but I still feel the need that I have to tell you guys about that. All right, so it's time to wrap this up. I think the Patina wallet is one of the most unique and original wallets I've seen in a long time. How they can take a single sheet of metal and fold it to create two springs that can actually hold credit cards and your bills is pretty ingenious. It is beautifully designed and has very intricate details that I have never seen before. And just being one sheet of metal creates a pretty sleek and stylish look in my opinion. And of course, being made of titanium and brass, it has a pretty high quality feel to it. I think it's highly functional. You can easily cycle through all of your cards with no problem at all, even though I wish there was a small little cutout on the bottom. And I forgot to show you in the card test, and I know one of you guys are gonna ask, how does it hold one card? Not a problem at all. So you can see there's one card in there and if I do the shake test, yeah, that card is going nowhere. And the make or break feature of this wallet is gonna be how you hold these bills. I think this is a very ingenious and intuitive way to carry your bills. I've never seen this technique before and I kinda like it. Just because of how different it is, I think the only negative here is how it curls your bills like this. But like I said, for me personally, that doesn't matter. But I think what is gonna matter is it only holds six bills. If you're a cash carrier and need to hold more bills than six, this obviously isn't for you. And I love the fact that no matter how many cards or bills that you carry, this wallet isn't gonna get any thicker just because of how it's designed. So if you're a metal wallet lover and have been looking for something original and a conversation starter, I think you guys might like this Patina wallet. All right, guys, that's pretty much it for this video. What do you guys think of the Patina wallet? So at the time of releasing this video, their Kickstarter is now live. So I'll have all that information and the links down below in my description box. So definitely check them out if you're interested in looking at the Patina wallet a little further. But if you guys did enjoy this video, please give me that thumbs up. Please subscribe and go.